Hello everyone and welcome back to the Refresh Step where you recover yourself for the main step. I'm your host for today, tomorrow, and the foreseeable future, Theodore Lu. And I'm without a spatler in the UK and admin of the Battle Spirits English Wiki, Ayumu Seiki. Hello. So yeah, Ayumu, how are you feeling today? Alright, still, still doing a lot of tests mm. for the Pro Tour. Oh yeah, because like next week, next week we are definitely going to the Pro Tour. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you already booked everything, so now I can't, <laughs> I can't not go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You're forced to be with me. Yes. <laughs> And I am going to take a one week break after that because we <laughs> have to prepare for the grand open right away afterwards. So it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, don't even mention yeah. that. Because like, yeah. after the first Grand Open, mm-hmm. the second one will be in Liverpool two weeks later. My god. But, and then, uh, but, uh, I, again, I have mm-hmm. basically less than a week to prepare. Mm-hmm. Because like, the, with the week before, like, mm-hmm. or like, on, on the week, mm-hmm. uh, of the, of the Grand Open, I'll be mm-hmm. visiting my bestie. Uh, in London, uh, so like, so like I can't, so it's, and it's like between 11th to 17th, so like I will literally be leaving uh, from London straight to Liverpool, so I can still do that mm-hmm. test with webcam and everything, but I will have to know Mm-mm. what to bring already, <laughs> because I can't change my car, so like, I always say I'm going to bring some spares, but like, I will need to know what deck I'm using. But yeah, to be fair, like, I mean, like, for now, for now, I think, like, with only set one, two, three, I think we can still bring everything within two storage box, no? Uh, you only bring one of everything. <laughs> uh, no, four yeah, of everything. I, su- yeah. I suppose I can, yeah. Yeah, but do I want to is another... Yeah, I mean, like, it's still going to okay. wake a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I think the main problem, actually, no, the, the main problem, the, I think, I think the one who will be troubled the most is actually going to be, uh, CZ. Because, mm. oh. <laughs> uh, because, like, the carton is ordered at my place. Yep. So he would either mm-hmm. have to stay with me after we return home to get his cards, mm-hmm. or he would have to wait until we go to liverpool and then oh my God. and then he can finally get his safari cards god bless his soul i'm well to be fair i'm not even sure if he's going to that grand open like if he if he's qualified for the pro tour in amsterdam i think he might not go because like, he also had work to do oh yeah Yeah, but like, stuff. but like now that I mention it, I will have to ask him later if he's want to stay at my place after we're mm-hmm. done with the first wave. Yeah, first grand open. I mean, yeah. Which is also it's a I'm... it's a very hectic week. Like some <laughs> hectic yeah. month actually. Like someone tried to meet up with me mm-hmm. for like this week or next week. I was like, sorry, pal, you literally found me at like the worst timing. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> exactly. like, like he want to visit me, but like, nah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, my friend, my friend is coming over on Monday, and then on mm-hmm. Friday we we were going over to to Central Europe for one week. And when I return, you in you can you can you can visit me in that gap. But like you have mm-hmm. you have four days to visit me. After that, <laughs> I'll be in London, and then I'll be in Liverpool. <laughs> like if if you if you're not because like he also work on weekdays, so mm-hmm. like weekdays, so it's like. If you're not free in any of those days, mm-hmm. then you have to wait until the twentieth of November. <laughs> so one I month know. later. <laughs> and imagine if you actually, uh, and thankfully you didn't take up my invitation to celebrate uh, Christmas in Germany. <laughs> imagine if you still go here in during Christmas, it will be even more hectic. Since you will probably oh. have to go to the US in January, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably I'll probably in Atlanta by that point. <laughs> oh, is it Atlanta? No, no, the next I don't know where's the pro tour, but yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's, I think it's in LA actually. Mm. No, no, that's the World Championship for my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... For my schedule. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
it, it, it everything is in the US and it's so not going to be that far. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, no, but no. like I'm not gonna stay in the US for a whole fucking month. Uh, <laughs> so <yeah>. why will do? <laughs> yeah. Like everything there's so fucking expensive. I Mm-mm. I don't wanna stay there. I think the things in UK is already so expensive enough. Mm-mm. And it's even more expensive than in the UK. It's mm-hmm. like, how do you guys even manage to survive? <laughs> yeah, that is a good question. Because like, uh, I think I remember that whenever uh, we shop in the ne- like th- in the Netherlands or here, like whenever I buy something, it's like, ooh, should I buy it? And like, are you move like just lightly? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just look at, <laughs> and then you just, I think you just told me that yeah, in the UK it will cost you like twice. So it's like oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It this is pain, yeah. this is pain. But talking yeah. about money though, like recently, like right now in the UK, uh, yeah. there was a there's a shop doing a, a kind of a sale thing, mm-hmm. and uh, it's twenty pounds. Mm-mm. For twelve random sleeves, Mm-mm. as in like twelve packs of random sleeves, Mm-mm. with art as well. It's not just like the Dragon Shield ones. So yeah, so twenty pounds. How much is that in euros? Twenty pounds, probably twenty five. So yeah, not too bad. I I I, I think it's one euro equals to not point eight pounds, right? Mm-mm. Yeah, so twenty three euros. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So twenty three euros for twelve. 12 packs of sleeves. Mm-mm. I got oh. 12 for me and 12 for standard. Ooh. And even if I add in the shipping fee, add in the sh- shipping fee, it's still cheaper than buying Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> my god. <laughs> so I was like, I'll take your whole stock. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Yeah, why I'll, I'll, I I'll, take, I'll take some pictures. If you're interested in some of them, I'll, sure, sure. I'll see if I can give it to you. Right. Yeah, because. Uh, I like I don't think I'm gonna use all of them anyway, but like mm. it might might as well if I'm gonna keep playing saga or like card games in general, I'm gonna mm. need them anyway, so Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like always the dile- dilemma of okay, so I wanted this leaf, I bought it and then now this is so pretty I don't want to damage it, so I'm not opening it. <laughs> 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 because like if you I think like uh, my card game collection is already somewhat way too big than it should, but I remember that when I go home, like I have one whole, not really a suitcase, it's just a small travel pack. Mm. But it is felt uh, basically to the brim with sleeves. It's like whenever I open that pack, it's like, what am I nice. doing with my life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's weird because like, well, for Saga, I'm I'm kind of fine with it, like, because, like, the the card sleeve themes aren't going to match what I use in Saga anyway, Mm-mm. unless I put some underlying theme on it, like, because, like, if you notice, uh, in my tournaments, I've been using the same purple deck Mm-mm. with Norman from Mm-mm. the Promised Neverland, Mm-mm. and obviously, it's because it's pretty, but Mm-mm. also the main reason is because, spoiler alert, the anime is revolved around death, so... Ah, that's why you use it with your plucker stack. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. That's actually mm-hmm. one of the reasons why I'm doing that. Mm-hmm. Or else or else I'll be using a, a Digimon sleeves, like mm-hmm. something like six pounds, which mm-hmm. I don't like, because I even <laughs> don't even watch Digimon. I literally only bought that sleeves because um, it was a draft tournament mm-hmm. back mm-hmm. during the launch okay. and i need and i forgot to bring my sleeves so i had to buy one on the spot uh, yeah see. yeah yeah that's it i think i think she's like a trainer of female or something like that but i i don't really yeah. care <laughs> i think she is from the game actually ah uh, okay yeah. okay like i yeah. also had another one uh another one from the game i did not play the game i I mean, like I like I like Digimon more than you do, but I did not play the like the video game where she came from. But it's like, huh? The art is way too pretty. I need to get this regardless. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's how I bought two packs of it, and I still have not opened it because I don't have uh, extra 
I don't have extra oversleeve to cover it in case it uh, is damaged. So yeah, I I'm actually most amazed with Amamiya because he had been using like almost like any character character sleeve he has. He just mm. uh, use it without without an extra protection. So it's like. You are yeah, yeah yeah i'm very i'm very rough on my oversleeves uh-huh. <laughs> like like probably like right now my whole deck has to change the oversleeves already <laughs> yeah i i would need you to buy me some later on ah okay because okay. like as you said it's cheaper in the netherlands <laughs> <laughs> or in oh, germany, germany but germany, yeah. yeah i mean like yeah. in the netherlands i don't think we have visited the car shop yet unfortunately Ooh. maybe we need to fix that soon since we are going to the same uh venue same hotel anyway so <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah that will yeah. be dangerous mm-hmm. imagine Indeed. your fan finding out where we stay during, <laughs> during the grand open oh god don't worry oh, i'm goodness. not gonna say anything uh-huh. it's not in utrecht <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> well i mean well i mean technically we can uh stay in amsterdam and probably like take like 30 minutes train yeah true yeah true but it's just very risky because if you got mm. delayed and everything like that then mm. yeah yeah i mean like i can't i i still remember last time like oh, yeah. first time to germany and that was my impression oh yeah <laughs> i i we only took like uh the dutch train once so it seems all right but if you write uh german trains like their copium is next level <laughs> like i think i think once i saw like a uh, train has been like i think in the more populated city like munich uh, or frankfurt i think it can be worse but like my place is like okay <laughs> and then like sometimes they do uh they have like a train that is already delayed for 90 minutes and then they are still sure that it the train will come so it's like oh yeah <laughs> like like it's, it's so the line. <laughs> like, it's so it's so absurd like i don't understand why they don't just tell you to take the next one just tell you oh yeah your train just keep delaying it's like let me just take the next train you got the space <laughs> to stand like you got the space to stand i'm fine with standing let me just take the next train for god's sake <laughs> exactly but yeah the <laughs> when it broke down it just it is just terrible like i think we all uh because like at that time our plan was to go a little bit early and then uh when we went went to the german grand open since the train would pass my uh town to cologne so we were planning mm-hmm. to just go to cologne on local train and then uh basically like yeah took a little bit of a look at the cologne cathedral since it's right next to the main station and then we'll take the express train from cologne to karlsruhe but that day uh all trains that are going to cologne are delayed because someone uh, entered the track uh, unlawfully <laughs> don't know why it uh there's this one i think there's this one track that is uh that all trains that are going to cologne are uh, going through so not only So not only the train where that we took to Cologne is delayed, but thankfully since the express train that we took uh, from Cologne to Karlsruhe is also delayed, we were able to catch it. But it's like, yeah, this is, this is so weird. Like even like because like the local train, if you have like the subscription ticket, then you can just take it, uh, which is make it which make it way uh, affordable compared to the express trains. But mm. that's like. Even if you pay the premium for the express train, like you still can't, <laughs> you are still not getting into the train because it's not coming. It's like this feels weird. And then even worse, like when we got into the express train, like one of the station it got punched. Uh, and then in the end, we didn't even stop at Karlsruhe, so the stop to Karlsruhe is cancelled. So we stopped like one city before Karlsruhe, and then took the local train to Karlsruhe. <sighs> It's like oh. <laughs> oh my god thank goodness the local train doesn't cost that much but it's like after that we get, also we got like a 25 percent refund so it's like yeah i mean like still fine in the end but it's like ah oh. <laughs> the stress on the day like uh it's it was worse for amamia of course because it's taking like 
uh, only local trains because again he has like the subscription ticket so it's like yeah the ticket to Karlsruhe is a little bit too expensive I will take the local trains all the way from uh, Berlin to <laughs> and uh, not, not from Berlin from Dusseldorf all the way to Karlsruhe so all in all he was supposed to have like a six hour trip so he departed at around 1 p.m. so it's a uh, sure he should be there around 7 8 p.m. which is basically like when I I and Ayum will uh, arrive there and then like yeah uh, as Ayum have told us in the Karlsruhe podcast episode he reached the room at around 2 3 a.m. so it's like oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> whenever whenever you whenever you can pay extra for a direct uh train ride to in Germany, just pay the extra. If you can afford it. Yeah, it's not it's it's like time time is money as they say. You might as well save your time. Yeah. God damn. Thank goodness this time it's in uh the Netherlands. Don't know if it's much better, but at least I guess. <laughs> I guess we don't have to use the trains as much since thankfully the venue so far has been pretty close to the main station so yeah I guess uh, as long as we can get to the main station then it will be much less stress uh, we can just chill walk around and the Netherlands for uh, I'll give them the credit although <clears throat> we had history but yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, it it was it was really walkable, so yeah, it's nice. So we tell them about our plan in Amsterdam. How detailed should we do it? <laughs> I don't I don't know. Like, well, I just want to say how we're like uh, we're we're planning to go to the gallery. Is oh it? yeah, yeah, or yeah. The art museum yeah. in Amsterdam for the day. Like, yes, we're just gonna sacrifice our practice time. Just yeah. gonna chill. And chill just, in a posh gallery, just to get the with, Pikachu. Yeah, with my fan golf Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. Like the moment, the moment they said, "Oh, sorry, the fan golf Pikachu is out." I'm going to train back. I'm going to take the train back to Utrecht. <laughs> I'm going to find. I'm going to find the true duelists guys and uh, ask them to give me, like, give, spill all your all your secrets. <laughs> train me. <laughs> <laughs> Prove that you guys are the true duelists. <laughs> yeah, well, well I, I was... So, like, in the UK, there's this online shop Mm-mm. that if you shop for £30 or more, you get a Van Gogh Pikachu for free. Mm-mm. Yeah, but I, think they, but I think they only sell Pokemon stuff, which is why Mm-mm. I didn't get to it yet. Yeah. I'm not going to buy any Pokemon cards until Ogre Pond comes out. Mm. I simp for Ogre Pond, <laughs> like Kira did. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, also I think I remember that uh, for the Pokemon Center, they are so out of stuff to, that are related to the campaigns. It's like, oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, when people try to get the stuff, they're gonna go to Pokemon Center first. Mm-mm. So, so that that would be the spot that runs out the quickest. Mm-mm. So, like. You have, will have to look for online shops or like your local shops Mm-mm. to see if they have any spares. <clears throat> My God. What the, I wonder, like, because the World Championship is going to be on in January, right? In January or February, is it? Uh, end of January. End of so, January. like, yeah, it's around that time, yeah. Yeah. And then afterwards, we'll have the World Festival. And then on March we on March first we'll have the booster zero four. And then yeah, I wonder when the next grand open will. Yeah, be. <laughs> it's, it's in March. I thought it's the end of February. No, it's uh first of March. So it's basically technically oh, if you if okay. you count it as like uh, thirty days a month, it's going to be end of February. But... Bro, like I don't understand why they push it back that much. Yeah, I think it might be because like the Evangelion collab is like on the spot and mm-hmm. it's like oh shit no we're gonna add stuff to it yeah it's like <laughs> yeah that is a little bit that is a little bit an oversight on their part it's like oh huh, we don't have any collaboration for this actually we do have uh we already have them but it's like they they want more like uh, i think like they could have handled it a little bit uh more traditionally like maybe they can just give out 
I can extra pack that you can get if you buy a box since I think the pro the Evangelion stuff is an uh, is a box topper anyway, right? No, no, it's not just box oh topper. God. Oh yeah, no, it's another box topper. It's, uh, it's basically like the Gundam, so they need to basically repack everything now. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, literally. Like, but I suppose on another hand, it's uh, it's probably a it's a good thing if you're also if you're going to World Championship because like. The whole like it's gonna be safely meta, Mm-mm. so like by then you would know very clearly like how it would go. Mm-mm. So it's easier to test and everything, uh, than like how we have right now. Literally just one month to test everything new. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> we are we are being so to the Americans out there. We are being your guinea pig right now. Stop saying that Engl- uh, European meta is weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I agree with the ban list, Mm-mm. and to be fair, it's a good thing that they did the ban list before the Pro Tour, but Mm-mm. maybe they could have announced it earlier, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Or maybe just don't print those fucking cards in the first place. <laughs> yeah. I think like the worst part of it all is like someone new buys the PS03 booster, and then they got like the box stopper packs. And then they open the Nexus pack, and then woo, this card is really nice. It's strong. It's uh called the Netherworld Thefts. And then they put in their deck, and then they join the tournament, and then mm, uh, so about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that fancy card that you just got, you 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 can't use that. So uh, <laughs> uh I don't know how to say this, but it's it's banned. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I mean there. I mean, I'm sure it will be unbanned sometime in the future. Mm-mm. Like, it's broken right now, but I Mm-mm. think as long as the other other colors catch up to the same level, then it's probably be it'll probably get unbanned, which yeah. I think won't uh, which I think won't be too far away. Considering like Saga right now is basically Burning Soul era. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like the the power level difference isn't really that big between mm-hmm. both games so i can i can see that like they were probably like or like maybe limited mm-hmm. like in the future so mm-hmm. like don't talk ta- don't tear apart your cards Mm-mm. they will they will come back one day mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly unless not, again... sure, not sure about x biter but <laughs> 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 yeah but like the day the day x biter is unbanned is the day we have look yours in the saga <laughs> oh my god! Which I am not looking forward to. <laughs> my goodness! I'm not looking forward to that. Uh-uh. Like the, the the but like the most stupid part is like Lycaeus wasn't even banned for the dragon shot. Yeah, it was oh, banned yeah, for the super of the super <laughs> charge. <laughs> oh my god! So of the super boost. Oh, oh god! Oh god! It was it was insane. Yeah, still not very insane, but. It was insane enough, I guess. Yeah. Duke Mon still gave me the trauma. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Like who would have thought? Like that is like the Duke Mon uh they just me a lot of things like uh of like the chasing I rem- still remember vividly when uh that guy in Extreme Game he chased his opponent by uh using that uh, Takatos Grand uh, Grandfield. Uh, mm-hmm. Moving five cards to Duke Mon and then I'll shoot zero life. What? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. That was that was such a genius play. <laughs> that was God. such a genius play. It's like, yeah, I'm just I'm just moving for the cowboys. Also, you can't trigger any of your effects. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, fuck, you can't do that. <laughs> My God, that is uh, that, uh, like shooting two lives, shooting three lives, yeah, yeah, now, now Red can do that really easily, that is no longer impressive, and then, like, the day I found that, like, you can just score boost five in Red, <laughs> <That's like laughs> <ten. laughs> my god, <laughs> god like, literally every color is a core boost color now, yeah, <laughs> I mean, like of course like I've been always wanting to still make those videos of what is the specialty because of course if you use green it will be much easier like with other colors you can corpus but it's going to be you have to do you basically now you do that thing and then you are rewarded with the course right 
Oh, yeah. yeah, well, I the, mm. at the end, of, like, it's a thing of, like, there are very minor differences, Mm-mm. but, like, it's those minor differences which make each color different, yeah. even if they, you know, they're doing the same core boost. Because, um, like, at, to be fair, like, core boost isn't exactly green specialty Mm-mm. but what makes it corpus even more impressive Mm-mm. is because of the color itself Mm-mm. like it's supposed to be a rush color Mm-mm. so the fact that you can corpus straight onto the spirits um, or to the reserve like Mm-mm. means it allows you more play uh, and you know it's just in general being quicker in the game Mm-mm. but like on the other hand corpus in white and blue Mm-mm. uh is for you to extend your play Mm-mm. but it's still there's still gonna be slow decks Mm-mm. but like yeah because of like how the other cards are designed Mm-mm. uh so 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 there's that and then uh i mean purple technically in saga right now you got cursed dragon mm-hmm. but um like obviously if the function is still core it's still core boost but mm-hmm. i think with curse dragon like what is trying to do is basically simply to recover your own loss as well because mm-hmm. bandai probably expect you to use it uh <clears throat> to also destroy your own spirits because most of the time you probably won't have enough cores Mm-mm. to maintain them each at level two uh, each at two cores Mm-mm. so like it just like it's just a way of like gaining value out of it basically like Mm-mm. it's not just a bomb wipe you you gain something else from it Mm-mm. and then like obviously they not they 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 didn't give curse dragon any draws because is redundant basically Mm-mm. like at the at, by the point when you can summon curse dragon like you're you're most likely done setting up and done with the drawing anyway Mm-mm. so like they so like bandai decided yeah you'll get the core boost yay yeah yeah so like so like each like each color's core boost like serves as a different function Mm-mm. like which mm-hmm. is like yeah just like just some minor details internal game design is very interesting yeah exactly Especially since we are talking about Corpus, don't forget, yellow also Corpus. To the life, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like that is, that is like one detail that we always forget, right? So it's like, because in Battle Spirits, we have cards like Piranba, which basically got triggered from your hand if you are opponent Corpus. Which actually also... Outside of course, yeah. 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 Which also got, will also get triggered if your opponent adds score to their lives. So, yeah. yeah 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 so like so like to, to explain to saga players the whole mm-hmm. effect of bilamba is like it's supposed to be a hand trap when you're mm-hmm. opening corpus and what it does is that you, you summon itself mm-hmm. and for each core the opponent got from the void specifically mm-hmm. move two cores from their That's spirits the to the void <laughs> yes <laughs> it was freaking crazy <laughs> yeah <clears throat> no right it's like yeah mm-hmm it's also like yeah why why Grin is still better in core boosting because like in other colors you probably can afford to bring like one two two cards at core boost so like if you got be if Grin is meta and then your opponent has Piranba because it's it's a meta so as an anti anti meta if they bring Piranba you will get damage more than if you actually use Grin because like okay. yeah <laughs> yeah because like okay I lost cards from Piranba and then I can just gain it afterwards so it's like yeah yeah, it's I mean, it's supposed to it's supposed to be a soft counter anyway. Mm-mm. Like none of the cards are designed to completely stop someone from playing, because at that point they would just ban it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So like, it's 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 a good enough card. Mm-mm. I don't think we need anything more stronger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, speaking who of knows? Being... Maybe 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 they'll print that in set four. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, speaking of being strong, like what do you? Like since Evangelion is coming, will we have eighty filled? <laughs> oh god! Ugh. Oh god! Uh, 
at this point, AT field is probably too strong. Yeah. Yeah, so like to explain to the Saga players, AT mm-hmm. field, uh, obviously being an mm-hmm. ability in, in the anime is also a keyword in mm-hmm. the Japanese game. Mm-hmm. And what it does is like when attacks or block, mm-hmm. uh, the Evangelion can't be affected by opposite uh, by opposing effects like any effects Mm-mm. except by the effects of the spirit of the soul corn it yeah yeah so like you either have to wait for them to finish their battle to Mm-mm. remove them or you have to do something with your spirit with the soul corn it yeah so um i i guess i mean to be fair uh it really depends on how how like how much the other colors have in terms of like responses because like if they do it the saga way which is can't be selected Mm-mm. i can see it happening Mm-mm. like they just had to print more aoe effects for the other Mm-mm. colors or i don't know something that can trigger when uh, uh from the spirits things like that Mm-mm. Or, or even a new white defense. I don't know. I don't know. There are a lot of possibilities. Yeah. Or maybe they just nerf it into. Okay, so it can only resist spirit effects that uh that uh, uh, that has soul core on it. So basically, magic you can still do something about it. Uh. So basically, if you yeah okay if no, you want to use sense. curse, yeah. then the spirit has to has uh yeah if you want to use curse, then basically the spirit has to have a soul core on it. Camel yeah 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 <laughs> yeah aglafail yeah yeah aglafail <laughs> yeah but like the other thing that like uh mm-hmm. would like to think more about is like how they do the pilots. Mm, yeah yeah. Because like because like uh I know like the community right now is very excited that like maybe Braves are coming. Mm-mm. With the introduction of Evangelion, Mm-mm. but I think I I think it really depends on like their schedule time because like they haven't exactly said when when the Evangelion set is coming. Yeah, it can be before set five, set mm-hmm. five or after set five. But either way, um, I I think Braves would be too early because like even. In the original game, Mm-mm. like set five or was it set four? Set four, set five around that time, we started to get. Later. Yeah. No, no, no. It, no, I mean like during set four, set five. We, that was only when we started to get double symbol spirits. Mm, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's only when set ten came in, Mm-mm. which would be like already two years by that point that mm. when Brave was introduced. Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah. uh, yeah, like. Uh, I mean, obviously, like, people can just say, like, oh, yeah, you know, the Braves don't need to have symbols. Uh, but you got to also remember, like, the very strong point of being to apply any effect Mm-mm. onto any spirits you want. Mm-mm. Yeah, so, uh, so, and, like, if they're going to print Braves... Mm-mm. They're probably gonna make like a large amount of it, so you can't just have every one of them being like a very harsh condition, cause like no one's gonna use it. Mm-mm. So, uh, mm. so like if anything, I think what the Evangelion would might do is actually gonna be similar to the sanctuaries. Mm-mm. Ah, yeah, yeah, making them. Yeah, yes, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So you have the Evangelion spirits, mm-hmm. and then the pilots as nessus and the Evangelion can only be at their maximum potential if you have the pilot as a nessus on the field. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that seems more likely. Yeah, actually, I also, <laughs> I also had the same thing in mind because there is a reference in the past. If you know a game called Gundam Cross Wars, which, I have it. I yeah, don't really know how it plays though. Yeah, I think I only took a pick on when my friends uh, played it. At that time, I was still playing Vanguard, so I was like, yeah, why, why, why would I touch that? Because I, at that you, time, I was... Gundam. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. I was too, I was, I sunk too much money into Vanguard at that moment. So I, I try, whenever I saw a new card game, I just told myself, yeah, I, I shouldn't try that. I, I, I don't have the money. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> uh, my friends who played them really like it, and I... I think I remember vividly. So basically, how they do it is basically 
the pilots has the mechanical right so basically if you have the Gundam and you have the pilots then you can basically just tap it and then the pilot will uh, the Gundam will gain something basically yeah 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 that's yeah that's what i'm thinking as well yeah. like some yeah it'll be something along those lines Mm-mm. i think braves are too early <clears throat> i mean even in the original games the pilots exist at both braves and nessus anyway yeah <coughs> so that there's predator predecessor for put things <laughs> is that a what Predis, predecessor Prede- is it predecessor or predecessor uh, predecessor pre pres, 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 oh, i don't know yeah predecessor english uh english uh last time with ayumu predecessor <laughs> predecessor yeah predecessor oh, okay yeah, yeah. i forgot that, uh, hard. yeah i forgot that my uh my google translate uh will be also recorded <laughs> i hope i hope we don't get the copyright claim from google especially since we are going to upload this to youtube which is owned by google <laughs> Uh, just 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 cut it and make a beep or something yeah beep <laughs> predecessor <laughs> <laughs> my goodness uh, language is hard how how do i know one the best two, part two. the best part is that like you know like how there's always this quote that says like mm-hmm. uh something along the line of like the more you learn Mm-mm. the more you don't know or something like that yeah yeah that's that's literally me with the english language because like for those who don't know i'm an english major Mm-mm. so like mm-hmm. and then after getting to university with english Mm-mm. that's when i realized that like like that's when i understand mm-hmm. why people actually struggle to learn english as a second language i know right yeah yeah because yeah, like i i don't have the experience because like even though i'm born in hong kong Mm-mm. i regard english as my first language Mm-mm. or at least one of the first language like i i literally learned english and cantonese together <clears throat> it's like yeah you're your you're typical bilingual families <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly no yeah but like the best part was because uh my parents was afraid mm-hmm. that like i would be bad at english if i don't start using it early mm-hmm. because like that's the case for most people in hong kong because like ah. especially since my mom is a teacher a secondary school teacher so like she's seen how a lot of students refuse to learn english mm-hmm. because like it's hard they're lazy stuff like mm-hmm. that yeah mm-hmm. so like what what my parents decided to do is that they only let me to indulge in english contents until i was six years old ah. but like but like that's when they realized there was a problem because like <laughs> when i was when i was interviewing in the mm-hmm. kindergarten yeah and then the principal put pull an apple out Mm-mm. and then ask they we, we were all converse, conversing in in chinese the whole way through Mm-mm. she asked me in chinese what is this and i answered her in english apple <laughs> <laughs> and and my mom was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> the price that you need to pay for that advanced knowledge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, so like, uh, I, I mean, I only failed my subjects like twice in my mm. whole life. So mm. like, it's not like my Chinese is exactly that bad. Like. Mm. The only time I failed my Chinese was in uh, I don't know if you have that in 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 like outside of Asia countries, mm-hmm. but like dictionary exams, not exams, dictionary tests. Oh. So like yeah yeah so like yeah it's I mean there are variants, but like most of the time it's either your teacher spells out like maybe like a whole paragraph, Mm-mm. and you're supposed to listen to what she said and write it out. Or yeah, or you recite whole passage and write it out during the test. <clears throat> so it's either one of those two. I once failed one of the Chinese dictionary tests because I got forty nine point five points and the passing mark was fifty. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, but like that was my first time failing my fa- failing anything really. Uh, your uh-huh. typical Asian life. Uh, uh-huh. So, <laughs> so my mom was obviously very pissed. Uh-huh. Uh, but I think, like on hindsight, I think she was pissed because I didn't tell her. Not mm-hmm. that I failed my, not that I failed my test. Mm-hmm. Uh, but either way, it was a very funny incident. Like. I like mm-hmm. like I had to hold myself not to laugh even on the spot mm-hmm. as well because what what happened was that like she was telling me off by the door uh-uh. and then uh and then like there was a there was a door to door salesman who came up <laughs> and tried to advertise my mom on like some broadbands or stuff like that and then my mom my mom my mom obviously looking pissed was like uh-uh. no I don't have time for that please leave and uh-uh. and then. <laughs> That guy uh-uh. had the guts to tell her, Oh, madam, please don't be angry. That will make you less beautiful. <laughs> and and I, was, I remember my mom was like, Get out! <laughs> and, 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 and then like, and then like, and then like, she was so pissed on that night that like, uh, Cause like she was cooking and like, I can't remember, like, yeah, she was cooking. So she was holding like a pair of ivory chopsticks. <laughs> yes, I, ivory or like, well, well, not exactly ivory, uh-huh. but like, uh, probably like something like plastic. Mm-hmm. But like, but like, you know, it's like that kind of structure. It's mm-hmm. not ivory. We're not. We're not that rich. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. she, she snapped it in half. Oh my god! <laughs> by, like, it's it's not it's not even like it's not even like holding holding two hands and like snap it in half. She she hit it on the table and snapped it in half. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, that's why you don't mess with the Chinese on this. <laughs> Literally, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And but like uh but then, like you know, you know how you've seen the memes is like how mm-hmm. like you know how Asian parents care for you is they tell you to eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it was literally the same because like that night I got told off and mm-hmm. I went to sleep, cried myself to sleep obviously, mm-hmm. and I woke up at like eight p.m. and then my mom was like, "I all the pizza hut, come over and eat." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. that. It's like it's especially interesting as well mm-hmm. because like we actually rarely order takeaways mm-hmm. let alone pizza hut because pizza hut is considered pretty expensive to us oh yeah i think now 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 they are basically just expensive <laughs> not good, just expensive i mean domino is much cheaper but yeah. we don't have dominoes in hong kong mm-hmm. at that time so mm-hmm. so yeah so i like, thought so like, oh, oh am yeah. i dreaming why yeah. are we having pizza hut tonight <laughs> yeah oh. okay. <laughs> but but yeah, that yeah, there was that. So like, my Chinese mm. isn't exactly that bad, but Mm-mm. it's like at some point, it's I'm actually <laughs> like even though I've been studying in England, Mm-mm. well, at that time it would be only like two to three years, Mm-mm. but somehow my Chinese level Mm-mm. is still better than my friends studying in Hong Kong, <laughs> cause like they were, cause like we had to learn Mm-mm. what they had to learn. Mm-mm. Classical Chinese, oh. which like if you compare to English, like you can imagine it's like learning Shakespearean English. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So like, yeah, so like they had to learn classical Chinese, and there was this one time like I returned to Hong Kong and I visited them uh, during the school time. So like, my previous teacher like invited me to join her class, uh, which is a Chinese class, Mm-mm. and like it wasn't weird because like basically like over half the class knew me anyway mm-hmm. so <clears throat> yeah yes yeah. So, and then like she asked this question like what do you think this sentence mean mm-hmm. for some reason no one managed to answer except i except mm-hmm. me <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. yeah like if you if you throw me a classical passage a mm-hmm. passage right now mm-hmm. i can probably still like understand like at least half of it uh... yeah, yeah yeah so i think like and then, like, uh, and then like, I was told by the others how, like, I could memorize, uh, like, phrases in mm-hmm. other languages very quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, I think it's just my language skills, really. Mm-hmm. Like, wow. not like, yeah, not like flexing or anything, but like, I've, yeah. I realized it's probably just like, it's just like me being good at languages. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
But on the other hand, I'm very shit at science and math. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still playing card games. But yes, I'm very yeah. shit at math. <laughs> but at least you can read. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's yeah. Most things in Japan don't have. <laughs> Reading my skills. Problem because I am average at everything. I am good. I am best at running from my problems. <laughs> but yeah so like the second time i fell in my life Mm-mm. was my final year in high school and it was mess oh my God. <laughs> even though both of my parents are mess teachers Mm-mm. and i still fell my mess <laughs> but like at that point they they like they gave up already they knew i was just shit at it so, uh-huh. so, so like they didn't they didn't say much and like, i mean i got into university so like Mm-mm. all all's well ends well yeah, yeah. but like it, it's a very ironic thing uh-uh. yeah yeah and like and like oh my god it's like so since both my parents are math teachers Mm-mm. like obviously most most of their friends Mm-hmm. Are also somehow related to mass. <laughs> like there was, there was this. I have, have I have I mentioned this before? I I think I mentioned this to you, but I'm not sure if it's on podcast. Mm-hmm. But uh, but it's fine. We're like over fifty episodes anyway. Yeah. It's fine to do a recap. <laughs> <laughs> we are not fifty episodes yet, but we will. <laughs> we will. <laughs> we will, because I because yeah. uh, I just remember that like, you just saying like we our our like our numbers like took over like a seasonal anime length. I yeah, can't yeah, remember yeah. if it's 50 or not, yeah, but like, whatever. I think we already whatever. passed it by default now. We are at our 37th, I think. I see. That's, yeah. that's not too bad as well. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, there so like, I miss no game, no life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, like, like, I met, like, I met my parents' friend. Uh-huh. And then, like, what the first thing they did was that they put a glass cup out. Okay. And then they and and then they ask me, which one do you think is longer, the height of the glass or the <laughs> circumference of the glass? I was like, what the fuck, man? Um... Well, well, well. Can you guess it? Hmm. Ooh, that will depend on how. So, so circumference is the. Yeah, this this my that's not the math problem. Oh, sorry, it's not, not problem. Uh, yeah, so yeah, circumference, yeah, circumference means is, like yeah. the perimeter of the circle. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, that's circumference. Yeah, yeah, it will depend on it will depend on the class, of course. But since he asked that, I think I will assume the question, uh, the answer will be the circumference will be taller. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Like. It should be true for most cases anyway, unless you ah. get a very weird cup. Because like, if you put like your two fingers, like your thumb and your index finger, Mm-mm. you know, to like to like measure the diameter. Mm-mm. So like, assume the gap between your fingers is one. Mm-mm. Your cup isn't going to go over three or three units. Mm-mm. Like it's not going to be that tall. <laughs> so. If you think of it that way, because the circumference is always going to be times 3.14. Mm-mm. So if, if the height isn't over 3 units, then it's always the circumference that's longer. My god. <laughs> that is actually a... Oh my god. Here's, yeah, here's a fun fact for you, yeah. <laughs> I, need, I need to test but, this afterwards. Yeah, but like, obviously, then, I, I did... I didn't think about that. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's just some cheekiness from their friends. No, right. It's, it's, <laughs> not, <laughs> it's not something you would want to think normally. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, it was like, it's really since like that was like my, during my mm-hmm. holiday in the UK. So I was like, mm-hmm. I'm here to relax, not mm-hmm. to think about fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> but no, like late, later on, like when I got older, like, um, mm-hmm. I just, like, because, like, another question they like to mm. ask, which, which, by the way, if mm. you were parents or, like, you know, your friends have the kids, Mm-mm. never ask them Mm-mm. if they like their parents' profession, because the chances are they won't. <laughs> so ah, it would yeah. just make it awkward. So never ask, so, like, in the case of my parents, Mm-mm. like, or my situation, never ask me if I like math. Just because my parents do. 
because it would just make it very awkward. But I don't care. I just straight tell them no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then just, the best part, uh, yeah, and then the best part is like later on, it's just my parents answering for me because like they was like, mm-hmm. oh, do you like mess? Oh, do your son? Does your son like mess? And they're like, mm-hmm. and no. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, which is funny because uh, my mom uh, all, is was also a math teacher uh, before she owned a school, and then mm. like uh, my first sister. She is all, She also majored in math before she took like her master's degree in uh, education, basically. Ah, okay. Yeah, and then my remaining two sisters and I myself, <laughs> we ended up becoming computer scientists. Oh god! It's like Indian, <laughs> Indian is just math with uh, extra steps, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I, I'm the I'm the weird one out in my family because uh-huh. uh, what well, the odd one out. That's the term. Yeah. English is hard <laughs> because. Yeah. Uh, because like my little brother is also majoring math right now, mm. but like I, so I'm the only one in the family who's doing language. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of <laughs> understand that because like although I'm a computer scientist technically, <laughs> my, mm. I have a bachelor degree in computer science, and I sometimes don't really think as a computer scientist. Like I think like people who uh, when. We work in an environment with mostly computer engineers because, like, the discipline between computer engineer and computer science are pretty different. Mm. Uh, although they might sound similar, like computer engineer, I can't really reach their level because they were they. So the computer engineering it's more into how the hardware works. Yeah, so, so like basically like more like building a PC or something like that. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, uh, but it's more like how the machine works mechanically so sometimes their programming is more precise so it's more like uh with computer science it's most likely it's basically just uh using math uh an algorithm to build a program uh, and then okay. like yeah usually you can you are counting it with basic like theoretical numbers with but with computer engineering it's basic they are basically trying to make it uh trying to count everything with real numbers like basically if you wanted to if you wanted a uh, traffic light to basically turn on like exactly three seconds after the red light uh, is turned on. Mm-hmm. So it's like everything has to be precise. So if you have to take account of, okay, so the lamp need like this much second to turn on. So you have to uh, turn on the light at precisely this many seconds to reliably uh, have the green light turn on three seconds after the red light turns on basically. Yeah, so like considering yeah. the gap, the like the delay between yeah. like the release, the release and receive of signals, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But for computer science, it's more like okay, so we there are some, uh, especially since uh, I am a web developer, so there are more mistakes that I can tolerate because like if you wait one second longer to uh, load a website, as long as it's not too long, you basically mm. don't really care about it, right? You don't really care about like one millisecond difference in opening your website right yeah yeah so it's like yeah <laughs> yeah that is why like i think the then the expectation will be okay so if you're a computer scientist then you will uh not be as precise but you will probably be able to be a little bit uh more mathematic in your approach but i <laughs> i am i i just brute force everything by the way uh so that's probably why i am a mediocre programmer but yeah anyway <laughs> your stars actually also like how to say uh unlock some of my core memories three in total <laughs> 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 because like yeah, when you mentioned like how you do the mandarin exam and the chinese exam in uh yeah in hong kong basically like because i also failed most of my mandarin uh lessons in elementary to middle school because uh, our our teacher came from china so she used basically used like the chinese uh, curriculum yeah so like the mainland chinese yeah, the mainland, mainland chinese mandarin school. yeah yeah and then like even the exam is basically she's just reciting one word basically one word not one sentence one word and i still what <laughs> one word <laughs> and i feel well everything <laughs> oh my god Bro, we were so intense that like mm-hmm. missing one, like make like 
making mm-hmm. one word wrong loses mm-hmm. five points and maximum 100. <laughs> so basically, if you want to pass, you can only miss mm-hmm. 10 words. My God. Yeah. But yeah, it's basically uh, there. Yeah, I think I've told you before, but there is this one time uh, the test, the number was a little bit weird. So basically, she gives you a default eight, uh, if even if you don't uh, answer anything correctly, which wouldn't do anything anyway. And then mm. one one question is worth four points, and then I get ten in total. <laughs> <laughs> which means I I was only correct for half number. Got them. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess I think the the <laughs> I still remember vividly because the question was uh fire truck. And then I only remember the character for fire. So I just wrote that <laughs> down. And then I forgot yeah, everything what... else. And then my teacher out of her out of PT she gave me half point. <laughs> oh Wait, fire truck. But fire truck doesn't have to wear fire in it. Oh. Is it something else then? <laughs> yeah. It's fire something. It's probably fire <laughs> truck or firefighter. I forgot about uh, which one. Uh, it might be firefighter. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Just I like... just remember there's two fire on top and then something on the bottom. Cause like the word for fire truck Mm-mm. is uh actually no that would be that's that's traditional. Let me let Mm-mm. me see if uh let me see if like the. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, there's no difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like fire truck in Chinese is mm-hmm. more like meaning the car which prevents burning. Mm-hmm. So not exactly fire. Ah, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like the the term for firefighter, mm-hmm. uh, it would mean a person who mm-hmm. saves the fire. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, I see, I see. <laughs> oh, it, it's not this. Uh, Chinese simplified. <laughs> huh, <laughs> it's not what I remembered. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not the one that I remembered. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Yeah, and, and they're three words as well. So like, if you say you got half point from it, then probably it's two words. Oh yeah. Oh, actually, you know, it might be it, it might be train. Mm-mm. Oh. Cause train is like that. Oh yeah, that's that's actually pro- possible. Yeah, no, yeah, no, cause like in, not train. Yeah, well, yeah, cause in Chinese, <laughs> in Chinese, train literally means fire car. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, fire fire vehicle, not really car, but Mm-mm. you know, like like the term. The term is mostly used as car right now, but like mm-hmm. what it actually means is like <clears throat> vehicle in general, mm-hmm. like moving cartages basically. Mm-hmm. Move moving carts basically, yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> and then yeah, about your mom being angry because of exam. But that's actually not my not my mom. My mom is a really uh patient person. Mm. So Actually, like the funny thing is, <clears throat> so basically, I think like at that time, my mathematic, like my whole mathematic course, the passing grade is 70. Okay. And then uh, basically like the final exam uh, gives you like 50% of the, of the score. Uh-huh. And then like, I still remember 50, like the other half, I got 72. And then on the final exam itself, which worth 50%. I got 69, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, if you add 72 to 69 and then you divide it by two, you got 70 point, uh, 70.5, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Which, uh, which is a passing grade, right? So uh-huh. I told my mom, mom, if I, if I come to the exam, the best, <laughs> the best thing that can happen is I increase my score by half. Do you, do I really need to go? And then my mom said, no. Okay. Then I will not go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that ends there. And then, uh, after that, that comes the, comes the holiday. And then my, uh, homeroom teacher has, has his birthday. So we, of course, since we like our homeroom teacher, we came to the school and then he, we celebrated his birthday. Yay. Yay. And then, uh, my, uh, my homeroom teacher who, who, who teaches physics. Uh, he is, of course, a good friend of my math teacher. 
and then he was like and then when he saw my face he was like laughing like Theodore like you see your your math teacher yesterday she was fuming because of because he didn't come to the makeup exam <laughs> like Ooh. what the fuck like I know that he, he would not improve his score at all but like he can at least come and show his face <laughs> like because if I fail the makeup exam like they will still take the higher grades anyway so it's like yeah why like why are you disrespecting me by not coming to the exam it's like my <laughs> god my god ma'am I, I, i can't my my school is like uh on the other side because like my school is pretty much on the top north of uh, my hometown and then i was like in the in the east so it's like It takes lots of times to go to my school, so like I am, I'm not going to bother <laughs> just for a I 40 see. minutes exam. So it's like yeah, <laughs> and then it's just like yeah, it's like the way he expresses like your your math teacher was fuming, Theodore. <laughs> She was sitting <laughs> with anger. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> yeah, if, if she if she was angry in front of me, uh, I would probably not find it funny. But like because it was described to me by my physics teacher, it was like hilarious. Like thank goodness Lol. I did not meet her that day. Because like I also pissed her. Lol. Yeah, I also pissed her a lot because uh, I at that time I was planning to go to like uh, Singaporean universities, mm-hmm. which the high school curriculum for uh, Singaporean Indonesia is way different. So I need to uh, pretty much. Uh, how to say learn differently, which I failed to do. So in the end, I did not get into any of the uh, Singaporean universities. But yeah, Oof. there was a time where there was a time where I kind of like I don't know why, but I brought out the text like the textbook from my uh, extra lesson uh, to my math class, and then like my teacher was like also like she was annoyed like yeah why. Yeah, you you can't even you can't even do this shit, and you want to do this <laughs> 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 because yeah, I think like the mm. mathematics level for Singapore is basically they covered uh, everything a little bit farther. So until like probably first year of university, so at that time I read everything and then, like yeah, this doesn't make sense because I am really weak at mathematics that uh, works differently like in the girls uh, chemistry, <laughs> like if. If the mathematics work like mathematics, so like in mathematics, physics, yeah, I I can do that. But like, you give me like a slightly different rule, and then like, was this is not working in my brain? <laughs> my God. <laughs> yeah, that 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 reminds me how uh, like two things. One mm-hmm. is how like uh, I almost missed mm-hmm. my uh, what what's the word? Condition for the university. Mm. Well, one one was because I failed my math, so. <laughs> okay. so, so I was two points lower. But also mm-hmm. because, like, basically, I was supposed to get a get like six points from mm. English, mm. but I got five. Uh... And uh, but like, I did a remark because, like, what happened was that like my teacher told me, Mm-mm. um, I'm not even one percent off. Mm-mm. I was one mark off from one of the pe- one of the, the for one of the papers to get the average score of six. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so I did a remark. Unfortunately, uh. they did give me that one extra point, <laughs> so I got a six in English. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Yeah, and then the other thing is like. Uh, my Chinese teacher in high school. Yes, I learned Chinese in England. <laughs> Very funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> well, that's be- that's just because we uh, just like could get a, like a uh, a cheap high mark in uh, one of the subjects because like, we had to choose one language. So I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll choose Chinese, and and I just easily got over got seven, which is like se- seven in the uh, IB, which is uh, is like roughly basically like eighty ninety percent. Mm-mm. You can think of it that way. So that hey, yeah, I'm just gonna choose Chinese and get my easy seven. <laughs> 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 But like, we hate that teacher a lot. Mm-mm. Like, we heard that like even other teachers hate her Mm-mm. because like she's like she's just like a scum. Um, because she's a uh, uh like uh she just like like to talk shit about people. Like, uh... yeah. So like in my high school, we have two separate curriculums. Mm-mm. Uh, during the last two years, so either it's A level, which is a, a system within the UK, mm-hmm. or IB, uh, in international baccalaureate or something yeah. like that. 
uh, which is like, as it sounds, international. Yeah. <laughs> I chose IB. And then uh, during my Chinese class, uh, she would like to talk shit to, to us about the people in A level. And then, like, <laughs> And then, like the A level, the A level peeps told us, cause like we're like you know we're friends. Uh-huh. What? Well, maybe not friends, but like at least we live together in the same boarding house. Fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 like they and then they told us how she talked shit about us. <laughs> so like she talked shit about the A level people in the IB lessons and talked shit about the IB people in the A level lessons. Of course. <clears throat> and, then, and yeah and then it was like bruh <laughs> I mean we kind of expected it but like, it's just very funny to hear about and like, there was this one time um, one of us uh, called Leo who was uh, one year higher than I am mm-hmm. and then uh, he like the teacher said that like like obviously she's supposed to say secretly mm-hmm. <laughs> to the others like, like she always starts with like don't tell the others okay you know something like that mm-hmm. Like and and then I all, but obviously we always tell the others because like we're pal, <laughs> we're bros. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But like, like she said, how Leo probably wouldn't get into uh, what was it? I think it was UCL, which mm-hmm. is like one of the top top universities in London. Mm-hmm. Uh, like he won't get into UCL, and then like Leo heard about it, and mm-hmm. he was furious, but like, he didn't say anything until like the last day when he was confirmed that he got into UCL. Mm-mm. He literally stormed into her room and said, like, <laughs> "I got into UCL, you bitch. Fuck you!" And 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 just and just, and just left. Cause like there was like there was his last day anyway. Cause like they they couldn't do anything about him. <laughs> Good for him. Yeah. Good for King Leo. I'm happy for you. I I don't know you, but I am happy for you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was hilarious. Love it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The... <laughs> actually, yeah, the end of the last core memory is actually how to say like because uh, I don't know if they still teach them, but like when I was uh, learning Indonesian for the first time, we uh-huh. were kind of like introduced to this like old spellings. Which uh, we don't use anymore, to be fair. Hmm. But you know where where they are still actually you got use. Uh, like what politics? In the Netherlands. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So basically, uh, if you find any Indonesian products in the Netherlands, uh, they would most likely still use the old spellings of Indo- uh, the old Indonesian spellings, basically. Oh, interesting. Yeah. If it's if it is uh how to say if it is produced locally in the Netherlands then it, they would use the old spelling but if that's the new products and of course of course it was printed in in Indonesia so they would use the new spellings but yeah mm, <laughs> okay yeah, like, that's yeah, right. yeah that that is why like the going to the Netherlands uh regardless of events it always feels like a little bit endearing also because I usually go there to go to the supermarket so I got exposed to all of this words that feels familiar my god <laughs> I've been so yeah I, away I, from I, home for too long <laughs> yeah it's I think it's similar to Japanese and Chinese like Mm-mm. some historians say that if you truly want to learn about Asian Chinese culture Mm-mm. you need to go to Japan instead mm. yeah and uh like, cause like obviously they carry over the, cause like at least how the legend goes is that, uh, mm. which like the Japanese also still believe as well, mm. is that like the Japanese right, the majority of the Japanese right now, like excluding the indigenous people, Mm-mm. um, <clears throat> or how do you call it, Aboriginal? Like you know what I mean? Yeah, um, the Ainu people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the like the Japanese now were actually Chinese. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> so basically for those who don't know, uh, the legend was that like back in the days, there was this tyrant, mm-hmm. and then uh, he wanted, he heard that in a faraway island, like remember mm-hmm. this happened in China, uh, well, <laughs> the land of China, we still don't call it China at that yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, the, but like, in the mainland, yeah, and then like, mm-hmm. he heard about in a faraway island, there's this... Uh, medicine that would make him 
un well not undead but like lawn living mm-hmm. uh yeah and then and then uh immortal that's the word yeah, yeah. that would make him immortal mm-hmm. so like he and like i don't know why he didn't do that himself instead mm-hmm. he ordered the others Mm-mm. to take a ship Mm-mm. and get the medicine for him like i was like are you stupid so <laughs> 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 it's like uh and then the medicine aside that obviously did, it doesn't exist mm-hmm. uh like the the people took this chance Mm-mm. to get on the ship and never came back Mm-mm. and that's how japan started Mm-mm. yeah yeah so uh so like that's why a lot of like the so-called japanese culture right now Mm-mm. might like might be hugely from china mm-hmm. from like asian china <clears throat> yeah and like it's even more obvious with like the language system. The language system didn't start as Chinese. Mm-mm. Uh they had their own language. Mm-mm. Uh well Japanese. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, but like at some point one of the emperors, like Mm-mm. my history is not very good, so I can't remember names. Uh, but like one of the emperors decided that like they wanna adapt some of the Chinese system. Mm-mm. And that's when kanji came. Uh, yeah, 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 that's one kanji kanji came from. Mm-hmm. So, um, so if you have read any of the old Japanese scripts, mm-hmm. or like just looking up like uh, legends, you know, for example, Amaterasu, and mm-hmm. um, like Amaterasu, five words, supposedly all spelled in kanji. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, uh, but like, yeah, so like, so it's literally. It's like the alphabet, Mm-mm. but instead you got, you know, a simple, a simple circle as like an O or like a simple straight line as an L. Mm-mm. Each sound is a full kanji. <laughs> 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 so yeah, it's, it's, it's something like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so and uh, it was only much later on when uh, they decided to, I don't know, simplify or something like that. Mm-mm. And that's why hiragana and katakana exist. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's why if you understand both Chinese and Japanese, Mm-mm. you could clearly see a lot of like the influences from like the Japanese language. Uh, for example, uh, in Chinese, when we say future, Mm-mm. we 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 either say well in Cantonese meiloi Mm-mm. or in Mandarin. Way like, mm-hmm. and it, and in Japanese, mi, uh, future is pronounced as milai. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. So like, you can hear like there are some uh, there are some influences. I think you call it onyonji. Yeah. Onyo, onyoji. Onyo, yeah. Onyo. <laughs> onyo, onyo, yeah. Onyo, 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 uh actually wasn't unified Mm-mm. until li- basically the like when the chinese were plot <laughs> shit i can't <laughs> even, I, I can't even i can't even remember the whole name of my country uh-huh. fucking hell. the people's <laughs> republic of china there yeah, we go yeah uh, yeah. yeah and like before it started uh mm-hmm. the chinese language wasn't unified at all Mm-mm. So, uh, so even though we write in the same way, mm-hmm. we will all pronounce the word differently. Ah, yeah, yeah, and like, and then like it was only recently that people started to research mm-hmm. about the pronunciations of Chinese words, mm-hmm. and it became very hard to do so mm-hmm. because uh, they couldn't track down mm-hmm. like kind of the original sounds Mm-mm. of each word Mm-mm. um well but like luckily a one breaking point was that like even back in the days Mm-mm. people tried to unify the Mm-mm. pronunciations or at the very least make a dictionary out of it Mm-mm. so like they would have this whole grid like since i'm only speaking here i can't really explain clearly how how they do that Mm-mm. but you know you have this whole grid Mm-mm. and then um 
on the on the left side, mm-hmm. uh, the word is supposed to represent. Ah, uh, yeah. So, so like, so like, it's very difficult because, like, you know, uh, Chinese has a lot of sounds. Mm-hmm. Um, so what happens is that, like, you have this word mm-hmm. it, within the grid. Mm-hmm. On the left side of it, mm-hmm. there will be a different word, mm-hmm. which indicates how you start the pronunciation, oh. and then, and then, and then the the other word which is above the word you want to pronounce. Mm-hmm. Is supposedly the sound that you end with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's not. Yeah, it's something like that. So like they have this really huge grip grid uh-uh. of like a dictionary sort of thing, and like we still have to reference that. Uh, mm-hmm. But like beyond that point, we have no information of how the Chinese language work. <laughs> My God, that's. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So like, we're searching about Chinese language is probably one of the hardest ones to do yeah. so. Like, especially since like, I mean, at the very least in English, like, mm-hmm. the lack the Latin languages in general, it's like the sounds are very consistent. Mm. And like, I mean, even right now, you just Google it up, you can like, you know, look up the original and everything like that. But because mm-hmm. Chinese or like, uh, pit, uh, pictorial language in general. Mm-mm. Uh, they, you know, they can't just look at it Mm-mm. and realize how it sounds, because like they're just pictures. Yeah. So that's why it's much harder to like, to you know, research about the history. Mm-mm. And so like we also have, uh, a lot of evidence to say that like actually, back in the days, because like Mandarin is not the original Chinese language. Mm-mm. It was so like if you know about uh history in general, not just Chinese history. Mm-mm. So you look at the map of China, it looks like a chicken, doesn't it? What what is it? <laughs> Does I, it not? Yeah, I because How like is... we got no, because like I mean like we have something that is more uh look more like a bird, so <laughs> don't see. Oh, yeah, no a bird or chicken, you get what yeah, I mean. Yeah. So well, like, on I mean, the like, right you... side yeah, yeah, yeah on mean, the like, right side, which I think is the chicken head, <laughs> the basically <sighs> the one, the ones that like the part that's attached to Korea, the cl- the one closer to Japan. Uh, <laughs> you just blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, that part is called Manchuria. Yeah, 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 and it's largely where the, but I guess you can say the dominant mm-hmm. Chinese people came from. Mm. But right now, like that's why we use a Mandarin right now. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. Ah. So Mandarin is yeah. from. <laughs> so Mandarin is was supposedly only a small part of Chinese. Mm-mm. Like it's like it's a dialect basically, mm-hmm. and like historians were saying that it might have been the case that like Cantonese was supposed mm-hmm. to be the dominant language, Mm-mm. the dominant Chinese version. Yeah. Uh, because if you look back all the poems, like again, for example, during like like let's say go back to like fifteenth, sixteenth century, like around sixty years time. Mm-mm. Um if you try to read the poems in Mandarin, Mm-mm. they don't rhyme. Mm-mm. But they rhyme in Cantonese. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so uh language is very fascinating. <laughs> exactly. That's uh... <laughs> It feels it feels really like the way you put it that way it feels like a whole journey. While we while what we do is we basically took the Malay language from the Malaysian, we improve it ourselves and then now we just uh, laugh at them for speaking Indonesian funny, although the language came from them, literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god, no, you remind me of those posts like there's this like S- stupid like americans just, <laughs> just like just like they made like one of them like i think you've seen that as well just make a post like Mm-mm. why why do the british speak english don't they have their own language where do you <laughs> I don't know where to start to comment on that <laughs> where do you... like how like do you do you really talk like the 
convention of like you put like a like a group of people's name and then you put ish and then you re- you realize that English if you took away the ish that's not America where <laughs> 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 do you expect that to come from <laughs> that is a really nice question on your side <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah that happened <laughs> yeah <laughs> And then now that uh, also yeah. because you mentioned Latin, it's yeah. also like, because uh, like I can read certain words in Latin, like very specific words. All the, uh, I guess yeah, you know cause why. <laughs> yeah, because you're Christian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I I can do the same as well. I've been singing Latin hymns for my whole life. Fucking yeah. hell. Yeah, so... <laughs> no right. It felt it made me feel powerful when I was I am in the church and uh, I'm in the church and then like we all sing uh, sing Latin in unison. It feels like well, it feels like the Dark Souls boss is coming. <laughs> like to be fair, I think if you're in a Christian school, mm-hmm. the la- the Latin language should be a mandatory course. Mm. Like I don't I don't want obviously I don't mm. want to add more subjects to these <laughs> poor little yeah. children but i mean like from a logical standpoint uh-uh. if you want to persuade someone to Mm-mm. join your religion you first need to have them to understand what you're doing Mm-mm. and like until i enter high school i had no idea Mm-mm. what the songs i was singing was about Mm-mm. so so the, yeah so like if you're a christian school i think you should somehow at least well maybe not mandatory but at least provide a latin class so that those who are actually interested will like know further about the religion oh that is also why i can if i were to learn like a japanese song i can't really uh really get it into my head unless i have like those websites that puts like the japanese lyrics and the english lyrics side by side because <laughs> that's also how we do it in indonesia it's so, like uh because i went to put like protestant school uh to put protestant and catholic school right so we don't like protestant school we don't have all latin like at all catholic school mm-hmm. uh it's also not a topic but like if you get like the song book usually like the song book they some of the songs they put like put the indonesian lyrics and the latin lyrics and in the same place and they also kind of limited it to like uh songs that you will be probably familiar with like uh the father's prayers of course i mean like the stra- the beauty of that uh the father's prayer as a song is like you can translate it into any language and then it will still pretty much rhyme the same Or at least like in English and Latin and Indonesian, pretty much rhyme the same. Yeah. So it's like you heard uh, Pater Noster, and then like I know how to. I don't know why, but I can somehow continue <laughs> continue from there. <laughs> <laughs> like I yeah, I need, I need lyrics, but I can kind of like read it like Pater Noster, qui es in celis sanctifi sanctificetur nomen tuum advenial regnum tuum fiat voluntas tua. Secret in Celo at Intera. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> I don't. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's the. I don't think it's the. The let. Uh, how to say like the native pronunciation, but I can somewhat read it. <laughs> thanks to. Yeah. Thanks to all those times I spent every Sunday, when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> yeah. Um. And then like another thing is that like. Mm-mm. I don't know how other schools do it mm-hmm. <clears throat> but at least in my experience actually i think i've mentioned this before mm-hmm. but yeah uh please like your religion class Mm-mm. please don't don't just be 30 minutes of reading our jesus story <laughs> yeah i ain't gonna understand shit if you just Mm-mm. read it like so jesus hold held five breads and two fish and somehow he could feed Five hundred people, yeah. And then like I was like, okay, sure, that works. Mm-mm. And what's the meaning behind it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like okay, yeah, sure, cool. It's a really cool story. Okay, yeah. what it means then? <laughs> uh-uh. 
Yeah, is it supposed to just mean Jesus is all powerful, or like it's supposed to mean something else? You have to tell me that. Yes, (laughs) (laughs) the meaning is yes. <laughs> but yeah, but that's also uh, I get. I think I get your point because I find like when I move to like the Catholic school and we talk more about like, okay, so it's not just like okay, you have to help people, but like this is how you help people. Like okay, this is like uh, how the church uh, do some kind of charity work. This is how you can help to uh, contribute to this, and then like uh, our we even have like this uh, period where we have like the practical lesson where we need to visit some kind of uh some kind of how to say like i don't want to say it's marginal people but like in indonesia it's they are quite much the marginal people basically mm-hmm. so like my team we were sent to the mental hospital because What? yeah you know yeah because like in indonesia mental health is not really a topic when i was young so like we were sent to the mental hospital and then we were asked to converse with the patients who are nearing Uh, nearing recovery and basically right. yeah, get their story talk to them like yeah help them feel like they're human basically ah yeah that and should then, like, be nice yeah did it also like we talk about the crusade <laughs> the crusade and how like how the like the church reforms and everything so it's more like it is more of a te- more tangible stuff of course we talk about the bible but like they talk mo- they talk about more tangible topics like how the church works and everything so it, It is something that you can see, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, that's, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I think like the one that every <laughs> like this <laughs> is going to be so so so. Uh, but this is like back then in uh early two thousand. So <laughs> it's when this kind of topic was not uh as uh how to say where we don't need to be as careful. But yeah, basically like back then, like all boys, like of course they wanted to the place where they want to go. It's mm-hmm. the red light district. <laughs> Because yeah, I mean, like if you, if we are talking in Europe, like I think I was quite quite fascinated because like I yeah, because just like Ayumu, I also sometimes I write stories uh, much less than Ayumu, but yeah, I was like kind of fascinated by the idea of uh, like prostitute prostitute as a person, right? And how yeah, true, uh, true, yeah. How in uh, Western culture, like now, uh, how. their uh how to say like their social standing has been evolving uh through time but like how in asia especially in indonesia it's still a really it's still a really in a pretty sad place uh, because we don't legalize prostitution so like if you wanted to do prostitution most likely it's going to be in illegal places and it's the working condition will be pretty much horrible mm. so yeah that's uh But yeah, that is something that we actually got to got to see because yeah, those uh, even though it's just some of our friends, not everyone uh, went there. But it's like, it's we kind of like see okay, so this is uh, how they actually are, and then we see like how some of these people are actually really strong, and they were like okay, so okay, so my condition is not good. I will not uh, sugarcoat that. Uh, but I have a goal in life, and then like. Yeah, maybe like in 10 years, 20 years, I want to get out of from here. So it's like, yeah, it's like getting in touch with these people, like to our teenage brain who still doesn't understand anything. It's like, oh, this is this is really eye open, op- opening. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I mean, like, like um, <laughs> a lot yeah. of the times, like uh, even in terms of fiction. Mm-hmm. Like I, I found that like people seem to really like avoid mm-hmm. anything that's like related to sex, basically. Mm-hmm. Like that's the more prominent topic. Like obviously mm-hmm. there are other ones that they avoid, but like sex is like the most understandable example. Mm-hmm. And uh, but like as a person who studies literature, I literally see all of them as equal. Like. You know, like if you ask me, like, except for the most normal genre, like you know, romance, Mm-mm. adventure, horror, stuff like that. Mm-mm. You know, like, <laughs> like anything about sex, yeah, I just read them. Mm-mm. Anything about gore, yeah, I just read Mm-mm. them. <laughs> you know, like any a- anything else that disgusting, yeah, I still read them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like the thing is, like, at the end, I think a book Mm-mm. or like. 
a story in general Mm -mm. is like a reflection Mm -mm. on a person's thought Mm -mm. and opinion. Mm -mm. Yeah. So um, even if I don't agree with them, Mm -mm. I would first have to read it Mm -mm. to understand what and why they're thinking this way. Mm -mm. So, so like, so like, I don't, I don't uh, discriminate Mm-mm. any kind of literature. Like, if you write something, Mm-mm. you draw something, Mm-mm. I would accept that. I may not like it, Mm-mm. but I was like, cool, you done this. Good Mm-mm. job to you. Yes. You know, <laughs> yeah. So, so, so yeah. So like, but then I, but obviously, I think this is also related to my personality. Like, I'm, I'm quite an open person. Mm-mm. So like, I'm, I'm willing to talk about all kinds of stuff Mm-mm. as long as like not too disgusting to me i still have my limits <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah well, yeah, but like, I mean, like yeah <laughs> but yeah but my limit is higher than most people so to mm-hmm. say it's like it's like there were times like i just said it straight out here mm-hmm. but like you know obviously like i mean like under like kind of well professional or like serious mm-hmm. situations like not just like you know I'm like I, w- I would like I would still talk about like things like you know uh, pedophilia you know Mm-mm. stuff like that Mm-mm. like cause like you know like sometimes it's just a discussion like you know Mm-mm. maybe like why do people think this way why do they like children in that way you know like stuff Mm-mm. like that like it's just a normal topic like it's not like we're saying like we agree with them Mm-mm. but like somehow there were too many cases when like i was told to stop it's like is then there was like no you 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 offended me oh this is disgusting like no you shouldn't talk about this at all Mm -mm. and it's like no it's also exactly because Mm -mm. like you keep like kind of refusing them Mm -mm. that like you just find everything disgusting basically Mm -mm. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to say it, but like the the main point is that like mm. people just refuse to even try to look into something, even if it's like morally wrong. Mm-mm. But like the thing is like exactly because it's morally wrong Mm-mm. that you should look into it, that you should talk about it to understand why it's such a thing, Mm-mm. so that you can actually stop the others who are trying to break the law. Mm-mm. So yeah, <laughs> like just things like that. <clears throat> yeah, I think I can understand that because, like, especially since I went to like an international program, so of course, like some people, uh, they kind of when they know they are in Germany or people who are outside know that I am studying in Germany. Of course, they wanted to brought up like. So what is their opinion on World War Two? <laughs> Uh, which is yeah which is uh my one of my professor answered pretty uh pretty elegantly because i think like he also understood that uh some people who went to germany they would be really entertained by that discussion although we are probably going to just uh talk about empty stuff but like mm. okay so he out he said that okay so basically if we are talk we are, we are in an academic uh, setting mm-hmm. it is Totally not a taboo because, like, yeah, I think, like, even in yeah, Germany, obviously still, not. Like, yeah, 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 because I think, like, to some point, uh, I mean, like, I think, like, I saw some interviews in German that people say they are actually a little bit disturbed by how much, uh, things about the World War II has been discussed, uh, in schools because, like, yeah, I mean, like, of course, we understand that we need to learn that, okay, in back then in uh the world war ii germany did some horrendous things we should not do this anymore but i think mm-hmm. we have passed the part of uh, trying to educate the future uh, generations that uh we had did some bad things and we should not do that again and we think like some people feel like we have passed that point and we have started to okay germany uh germany has done some bad things in the in the past and then we deserve like eternal suffering because of it so like yeah, there is always that uh, line where, okay, so there is uh, your country did bad things, let's not do that again. But also we need to forgive ourselves kind of thing, right? So Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Like, 
I obviously I think it depends on like what age you're teaching, mm-hmm. like the people about yeah. walls. Like mm-hmm. obviously I'm not gonna teach to like an eight year old kid. It's like yeah, so you know your country, they uh they <laughs> suffocated like millions of Jews. You know like you know I'm not gonna, <laughs> like I'm not gonna do that. But uh-huh. like you know at one point you will have to educate them, mm-hmm. uh or else like. Even if they're not repeating the whole thing, you don't mm. want them to develop like basically a similar mindset Mm-mm. to you know like kind of you know back in the war age. Because mm. like who knows, you know, like everyone has their own experiences and you know, you know their own personal development. Mm. So like you know there is a chance where someone somehow grew up. And then you know, start to think like, you know, for example, Hitler, Mm-mm. and then like, and but like because no one educated him about Mm-mm. the world wars, no one told him like how like, no, this is wrong. So like you know, Hitler thought similar things like what you did, and then Mm-mm. like he did all those all these things, and it's wrong. Mm-mm. But because like no one told him about it, then like he would just repeat the whole thing. Mm-mm. No, obviously. I mean, obviously, at this point, like someone, someone will be able to stop it. But like, you get what I mean. Mm-mm. Like, you don't want people to like go through the same kind of journey again. Mm-mm. Like, that's why you have to educate them to like yeah. all the mistakes that humanity had Mm-mm. in the past. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's also important to understand that. Yeah, Germany is the one who fuck up, but we can, <laughs> we can all be horrible because, like, yeah, I mean, like Indonesia also. After we, after the Dutch did terrible thing to us, uh, we did terrible things to our own neighbors. So yeah, it's not like, yeah, I, I am, I am glad that I was able to be aware of that, and I'm still can say proudly that I am, uh, proudly an Indonesian regardless, uh, because I know that, uh, yeah, we did it. We need to make up for it, but it's there is a there is a limit. It's not like mm-hmm. uh what people did in the past. Should not affect our uh, connection with our neighbors, but we still yeah. need to make up for what they did, regardless. Yeah, especially since mm. the people who did those things aren't even alive anymore. Mm. So you can't just like generalize Mm-mm. the people now to be the same as the people back then. <clears throat> so yeah, yeah. Oh well. Oh well. I like yeah. I like I like how every time our podcast is like goes into something deep at the end. Yeah, that's it all. It's like it's like ha ha ha! I fuck up my breakfast today, and then at the end, so let's have this existential crisis. I know, right? Because like the last ex- <laughs> I actually still have one last existential crisis because like what is it? that that's like uh, also why I was like uh, hesitating a lot about uh like change, like if I eventually got the offer to had the. Like if I got offered like the German nationality, mm. that's also probably why I don't. Uh, I was hesitating because like us, us, uh, how to say like us appealing as it is. I guess like again, right? I have to go through the whole process. Like because as an Indonesian, like I was really educated to be like, like I mean, like Indonesia is pretty a nationalistic country, so we were pretty much uh, educated to be nationalistic. Right? But like, yeah, mm. I mean, like. In that process, I also know, like, okay, so we did this horrible stuff uh, in the past. And, yeah, I mean, like, I've went through the process of owning up to it. And I think, like, if I don't understand, like, what the country has, uh, like, the connection of that country with their neighbors and etc. And how, uh, what we need to own up as that, the citizen of that country, then I don't think it's uh, morally acceptable for me to accept their nationality just because of their benefits. Mm. <clears throat> but yeah that's that's, that's just yeah. me <laughs> but yeah anyway since uh since again like as, say before before we went into more existential crisis if you uh i mean like we started <laughs> we wanted to talk more about pro tour but yeah i guess that has to wait until we are finished with the pro tour so yeah if you <laughs> want us to, us to talk more about uh specific topics as you can see we Although we are not really expert in it, but we are really fascinated by lots of topics as well. So if you wanted us to talk about any specific topics, whether it is anime, trading card games, uh, life in general, or life of people in the past, uh, you can always ask us anything. 
uh, by sending us an email at our email at therefreshthepodcast.gmail.com So yeah, I guess that has been everything that we can share for this week. I hope that you guys all have a nice week going forward. And we'll see you all in the next thing. Bye-bye. Bye.